So here we have the carp slappers. As it says, it's a float for fishing shallow for carp. Um, we've got a two mil tip on these, nice hollow tip again. The incredible hybrid eye that every time I see them I have to pull and try and break my float, but it's never gonna happen, they're so durable. These come in 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 0 0.4. When you're carp fishing, um, I like to fish a variety of depths, so you think 0 0.4 for a shallow float, oh, that seems a bit heavy, but like places like Match Lake down at uh, White Acres, you're fishing deep shallow, aren't you? You can catch between six foot and two foot, so I think the, the range of floats just covers those depths. Again, that's a nice, durable glass stem. Um, rig itself, I've got the ever durable 020 main line. Um, probably got two foot above that today. So we're slapping over towards the, the far reeds today um, and I can slap it over nice and easy and keep a tight line to my pole tip. Um, so hopefully they can hook themselves. Just a couple of number eights on this one because I've got an eight mil copper pellet on a band, uh, 018 hook length, a 14 uh, B911 extra strong eyed and I say just a band on that um, with green slick through a long kit. So shallow fishing for carp, everyone associates with shallow fishing, oh we've got a feed bait, we've got a feed bait. Not all the time, it's not necessary. Today we're fishing up to a feature so the, fi the fish are going to be there anyway so we can get away with just slapping the rig over um, and fooling the fish into taking it and you normally catch a bigger fish that way. So let's put that into action and see if we can snarl a big one. So we'll ship out, double ship today. Take our time, going across to those reeds. So I've got about two foot above the float itself, so it'll give me a nice arc when I'm whipping it round. So keeping a nice tight line to the tip and not leaving it in there any longer than when the bait actually settles at that full depth of what, 12 inches we're fishing. Plenty of fish there, plenty of indications. Nice tight line to it. There we go. Just ran us all through the reeds. So not a big fish again, but bait builders. Another little baby stocky. And if you look at that photo, perfectly intact after going through those reeds.